everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video this evening. I hope you're doing great and we're going to be taking a look at both of these areas. But we will be focusing more on that new area highlighted in the Caribbean where we could see development headed toward the latter part of this week and into next week. And so uh, there is 96L up there highlighted in orange. And if you actually remember this morning, it was highlighted in red. So that chance has decreased for it to develop. Why? Because it hasn't really been getting itself together very much we'll talk more about that in this update so let's get straight into it and we're moving on to the satellite imagery there we can see that there's a lot going on out in the main development region those clusters of all that convection and uh there we can see all that activity shared away from 96l because the center of it is somewhere right over here and we can see all that activity shared away from it into the vicinity of puerto rico and even the virgin islands and the northern leeward islands as well so uh, conditions haven't been the most conducive and the system lacks a well-defined center. So uh, because it is uh, producing very limited activity near the center, along with that ill-defined center, that's the reason it hasn't been classified as a tropical cyclone. And it has a small window of opportunity to do so. However, that window will close completely as we head into around Tuesday because conditions will be a lot more hostile. There will be a lot of dry air. It's going to be a very dry, stable environment that the system will be making its way into. And uh, there's also going to be that increase in shear so by that time the chances are likely to become uh, very minimal for it to actually make it to tropical storm or tropical depression status however it still has a shot at doing so so let's see if it will get itself together quickly as we head through the rest of today or even into tomorrow but now we want to go ahead and drift into the Caribbean and there you can see as I said all that activity sheared away from uh, the disturbance and so that is likely bringing some periods of heavy rain maybe even some thunderstorms to portions of Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands and we're even seeing that uh, there's likely some overcast conditions maybe with some intermittent showers or even some heavy downpours at times across portions of the Lesser Antilles going to the ABC Islands and increasing moisture in the area maybe some thunderstorms here and there and some periods of some downpours. Now, there was another area highlighted but that has been off the map since it wasn't really sustaining any activity but now we're seeing that increase in convection across portions of the West Caribbean so there may be an increased chance of rainfall for Haiti going to parts of Jamaica even for Cuba and eventually the Bahamas as we head through the early part of this week and then another area of low pressure is likely to form in the eastern Caribbean drift toward the west but there is a chance that that may not be the end of it in terms of it just moving to the west crossing over Central America and into the Pacific as there is a trend of the system making a turn back and potentially being an issue for areas such as the Cayman Islands Cuba maybe Jamaica so we'll be taking a look at that but here we can see that 20% chance of formation and we can even see it on that little hint right there with that little curvature in the potential track of the system though this is highlighted where we could see development so that is suggesting that curve that may happen why will there be a curve well there are all these fronts making their way out of the u.s and they actually allow for these systems to move up to the north and uh, the northeast and out so so speaking of that let's now go ahead and take a look at what the ensembles for the gfs and euro models have to show and we're kickstarting things looking at gfs and this is as we're going to be head out, uh, heading out to the next 10 days. So there is the time right there. And those lines, those L's represent those different ensemble members. So let's see what they have to show. This is as we're going to be heading out into tomorrow. And then into Tuesday, there we see some agreement for a weak system associated with 96L. Uh, eventually, we see all these members popping up, showing that low pressure area form later this week. And then as we head into next week, we see it's making its way towards Central America, but then making that curve as we head to around Tuesday go into Wednesday and some of these members are even showing something quite strong out there with the right conditions ahead then we'll definitely see development and intensification and we should not forget that the Caribbean is currently a hot spot of course because I mean not only are there warm waters at the surface but also uh, beneath the surface at a pretty good depth so there's a lot of available energy to fuel these low pressure areas going on to Euro now so this is as we're going to be heading out into tomorrow Tomorrow, and then uh, going into Tuesday and eventually there we are seeing those ensemble members showing that low pressure area as we head into the latter part of this week Thursday headed toward Friday moving west towards Central America but then take a look at this they make that curve back so timing is going to be off the essence in relation to the front that will be making its way out at the time the sooner that front is going to be making its way out uh, the quicker the system will curve the longer it takes it will move further west 
So very interesting week ahead in terms of that potential system and GFS has been hinting at something forming early in November. It has been showing it for quite some time and now here we're seeing that the National Hurricane Center is highlighting the area to watch. So I really think that we will see development. Of course, once conditions are conducive and as I speak, let's quickly go ahead and take a look at what they're like. We're starting looking at the dry air, which is marked by those shades of oranges and yellows. There we can see that the dry air isn't a huge deal right now now in the Caribbean and uh, however as we head into the Gulf going off the southeast US coast and out into the Atlantic there is a lot of dry air and as we can see there's that dense mass ahead of 96 L so that is one of the main reasons it may not develop much as we head into the next couple of days and then the wind shear so areas of those red lines indicate that unfavorable shear meanwhile the yellow means neutral the green means favorable so where we see a lot of those green lines is where we could see development or where the upper level winds won't be interfering much with these tropical cyclones attempting to form. So there is 96L again. Uh, there we can see some of those red lines and the direction marked by those arrows. I don't know if you guys can see them, but that is the direction of those arrows. So as we saw, there is all that activity displaced in the northeastern Caribbean islands. And so guys, finally we're hopping over into the eastern Pacific where there is tropical depression 19. So as of this evening there is a tropical storm watch which is now in effect for uh, El Salvador so along the entire coast of El Salvador there is a tropical storm watch which means that those tropical storm conditions will be possible within the next two days or so and then elsewhere in Guatemala going to Honduras and even for Nicaragua should be monitoring the progress of the system as it is likely to unleash those very heavy rains which could trigger flooding and even mudslides in those hillier areas so there could be rainfall totals up to 15 inches across some areas through to Wednesday so it is going to be uh, the depression will be drifting toward the coast it is likely to strengthen eventually as it approaches the coast with all that activity and then it is going to be making its way back out so we'll definitely have to keep our eyes on it but as we head into around Tuesday that is going to be that time for that uh, significant rainfall threat for those sections of Central America the aforementioned areas so if you're there guys please take the necessary precautions and please do not take any any unnecessary risks as the system drifts around so that is pretty much what i wanted to share with you in this update again over in the atlantic there's 96l losing its potential to develop but may still try to quickly form into something and there's that new area to watch in the caribbean where low pressure air is likely to form later this week and we could see some development of it and it could be a problem for some areas so i will keep you guys posted as per usual and that is it for right now so i hope you found this video to be quite informative but if you have any questions please do leave them in the comments i'll respond to you once i get the chance to do so and remember to always be weatherwise